lesson we're going to talk about the spread operator and the rest parameter. So let's start with spread operator. In ES6, spread operator makes your, uh, your life easier if you ever have to work with multiple parameters. So let's start. Let's start a uh, variable called diasoda and it's an array of diasodas in the elements. And here I created a new variable called sodas. It contains standard sodas plus, and I want to add diasodas to this list here. So usually the old way of doing it, it will be you have to like manipulate this array here and then insert everything in diasoda into this sodas array. And it gets quite complicated as you do this. Uh, so ES6, we just have to do dot, 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 and then the diasodas, which is the diasoda array, into the location where you want to insert these, very, these um, arrays into. So as a result, if I cancel log this sodas variable, I'll get exactly what I expected, is that these diasodas get inserted into the location I specified. Now you can also do this with, um, with function parameters. So here we have a function called sum of three values. It takes three, param three parameters and just add them together. Here I have a list of numbers. Um, they're in an array of one, two, and three. So uh, if I want to pass each of these into this function, all I had to do is call the function and then do dot, 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 number list, which is an array of numbers. So as soon as I do this, it actually passes these value and map it into this parameter here. And in the end, I do it get it becomes one plus two plus three, which is six. And here you can do another way uh, way of doing it is to concatenate two arrays. So let's say you have an array one, which is one, two, three as the elements, and then you have an array two of four, five, six as the elements. So all I'm doing is do an array one dot push of again the dot 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 the spread operator and then array two. So all this is doing is I want to push everything inside of array two into array one. And in the end I get this one, two, three, four, five, six. You see, this is very, very simple. You just have to do this and you don't have to manipulate any array elements or anything like that. It makes your life so much easier. Now the next related thing to the spread operator is called the rest parameters. So what is rest parameters? Rest parameters deals with the parameters that you pass in into a function and you want to um, manipulate them. So in the OES5 way of doing something like that will be, let's say a parameter log, I want to log out all the, I want to return all the parameters in pass into this function. So you have to do this array, the prototype, the slice, the call, you call arguments, which is a built-in variable, and then you just pass the function length, and then you'll return like the uh, arguments. So this is the old way. It's very confusing for newbies, and I don't like it either. So on the um, it's like if you cancel log this out, it will just you know log all of this th these things. Now the way we do it with ES6 is you just have to call the same function, and you just do dot 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 args. So this will make all the arguments passing to this function into an array. So when you return it, it'll be a return an array of arguments. It's very simple. Now let's say, I mean, I can show you what the output of this thing is. Let's say the old way, see it returns one, two, three, four, five, and in an array. So this is the ES5 way. Now if we do it in uh, ES6, it should return the exact same thing. Let me run it again. There it is. The exact same thing. So this is much, much simpler than before. And you, you can actually make functions much easier to write too with the spread operator. Let's say I have a function called adder, and this is a number to add. And then here I provide a list of parameters to this function. So it doesn't matter how many parameters you provide to it, it will take it. You don't have to specify. So all this is doing is it takes all the arguments and then add this number to each argument. So if I have if I'm if I have passing one, two, three here, it basically takes two and then add one to it. 
and then takes 3 and then add 1 to it and then returns the value which is the 3 and 4 so as you can see this is very useful to make your functions easier to read and make you you, should, you can create less code with ES6 this will take so much code in ES5 to write and it makes it this is much easier to read too so I hope you find spread operators useful and start using it in your projects let me know how you feel about the videos and stick around for more ES6 videos. Thanks for watching.